Hi everyone, welcome to the art class. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw all your pastel and we are going to do campfire. Okay, let me share the screen. Okay, are you ready? So first one, I like to do the fire, okay? And then we do the wood. So, you know, when you go to the camping, when you go to camping, you usually you roasted the marshmallow on the top of the campfire, right? So let's do that, okay? So first one, I'm going to have you do yellow, okay? This one is gonna be yellow. You can see this is yellow. And I have a lot of yellow right here in different shade. If you don't have a lots of different shade, just get the lightest yellow, okay? I guess yellow will do. So first one, I'm going to do the big frame, okay? With all yellow color. And then later on, we can do the overlapping part, okay? So you can see first one right now, I'm doing a big, big frame fire at night time so that's why I choose the black color okay and pretty much anyone can you know color your fire in any different kind of shape okay you can make a big one and a little bit curve on the end and that will look really really nice right and like you know the fire is burning big 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 fire okay and i'm wondering if anybody do camping this summer maybe some of you okay and camping you know always the fun really fun things to do during the summer right okay I think I have a lot of, lots of yellow frame. Okay, you can see I'm keep on coloring it. And sometimes if you like it a bigger, you can do a bigger one or you want to be go higher or longer. You can do pretty much any you like it. Okay, make it look like a fire, it's burning. Okay, so I'm going to do a big one, long one on the top over there. And I do another one going this way. So it's going to be nice too. And not necessary, every single one needs to have a curve on the end. If you don't like the curve on the end, you can just do a wave shape, like, you know, waving it. And that would be really nice too, okay? Waving, waving. As long as you look like, you know, the fire it's burning and then that would be fine, okay? But, you know, one thing I want you to know when we do, uh, when we do the campfire, uh, always be careful, be careful, okay? After we done, we always make it, make sure the fire it's gone and no more because the weather is too hot. And if you don't put out the fire after you done for the campfire, and sometimes it costs the, you know, the fire and it can burn a lot. So, you know, the forest can be burned, right? Okay. So you can see I do a lot of yellow for the big, big fire frame, right? A big, big one. All right, so you can do it pretty much any way you like it, okay? All right, and next one, I'm going to change to an orange color because I like to have a fire, have a lots of different color, not just yellow, okay? So let me switch to orange. And you can see my orange right here, I have a two different shades, right? You can see. One is darker orange, one is lighter orange. I'm going to pick the darker one, okay? So the darker orange, I'm pretty much do, you know, leave a little middle part yellow, okay? And then the top part tarp, 
I'm going to over top with a little bit orange. Okay, and leave a center part yellow. Okay, so you can see I'm doing a overlapping on the top. Okay, on the top, not doing every single one. Okay, not really doing every single one. Just do the part I feel like I would like to have a little bit more orange. Okay, so you can do that on the top too. Okay, dip a little bit yellow so we can see the yellow. It's part of the fire too. Okay, and right now we're just adding a little bit more orange to the fire. Okay. And you can see the fire, you know, everyone have a different way to doing it. Not necessary to be the way I teach you. You can be just go up and down or go waving. That would be fine too, okay? So feel free to any way the fire looks good on your painting, okay? All right, I think I have enough orange so far. Okay, you can see I have the orange and the yellow and that look pretty nice already. I'm going to fill in a little bit more orange in between. How do you think? It looks nice, right? Okay, so next one, I'm going to add one more color. It's going to be red, okay? This is the color I picked for red. And I'm going to add more on the top of the fire and make it look like it's really, really actually burning, okay? So you, I, you can put it anywhere you like in between the yellows or in between the orange. Wow, look at that. After I put the and other color, third color. Wow, look at that. It looks really, really hot, right? Okay, I want you to feel like, feel the fire is really hot. Now, when you're doing the fire, you have to be careful, okay? Especially when you do camping, okay? Be careful, be careful, but you know, you can have lots of lots of fun. Okay, and then we can put the roast marshmallow after we finish the drawing the fire and uh, drawing the wood piece, okay? All right, I'm going to put a much, much more red. You can see I put quick, uh, lots on the top part, right? Lots on the top. Okay. Wow, look at that. It looks really, really hot, okay? Touch it, ooh, hot, 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 right? <laughs> okay, so a little bit more, more red. Okay, a little bit more, more red. And remember how, how many colors I use for doing this campfire? Three, right? One is the yellow, okay? And one is the darker orange, and one is the red, okay? All right, so let's keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Okay. Wow, you can see this overlapping it looks really, really nice. Okay. Remember when we do the oil pastel, I always teach you to do the overlapping because the color can look really, really rich and nice and pretty, right? Wow, look at that. You can even make more. You see this one, I'm painting red right here without yellow on the base. It doesn't really show, right? So remember, you know, especially when you do fire yellow, orange, and then red, okay? Wow, look at this one, look really nice. It's big fire and burning. Okay, and next one, I want you to use your finger, smudge a little bit, okay? Smudge a little bit. I'm going to smudge a little bit so it looks Blend it in. You can see after I use my finger, smudging it, and the color looks very nice. You know, they blend it into each other. 
and let it look even more real. Can you see it? Wow, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, right? Okay, so when, after we're done for the fire, next one we are going to do the wood, all right? Because we have a wood and then that's how the fire, you know, start to burn, burn and burn. So uh, the first one, I will use the light brown, okay? I will use the light brown. You can see my brown is right here, right? And I pick one light brown right here, okay? Light brown. And I'm going to do three, three uh, wood, all right? So, so first one, you can do an oval on the side, on your right hand side, okay? And then next one, you can make two lines toward to the fire and then you cut it in. Okay, so you see how easy we have a first wood ready, right? Burning the wood. This one is the wood, we have a first one ready. Okay, we are going to do the second one on your left hand side, okay? So, sir, oval, let's make an oval, cut it in, cut it in. Very easy, right? Everyone can do it, right? If you have an oil pastel, you can do it with me, right? All right, next one, let's do two lines, okay? One, two, okay, and then we color in, okay? Color in, color in, color in. Wow, look at that. We have a two piece of wood already, all right? And then next one, I'm going to do one more in the middle. Okay, same thing, big, 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 big oval. Let's make a big oval. All right, big oval. Okay, ready, ready. And then one line, two line. You see two line? And then we color in. Wow, this one have a one, two, three wood and the fire is burning. Okay, but this one, I only use one layer. It doesn't look really nice because this one just look like brown. It doesn't really look like a real, real um, wood yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one more color to help me to make it look really, really real, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a Sienna color. I call this golden brown. Can you see this one? I call this golden brown. Sienna color. It's a lighter than brown. It's close to brown, but really, really light, right? And even more close to the yellow. And because I need the highlight. Okay, why? What does it mean, highlight? You see, when your wood close to the fire, sometimes they have a reflection from the wood, right? Yeah? So we want to have a, that kind of reflection, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a curve. Okay, you can see this one, the curve. Okay, and the curve on the second one and curve on the third one. Okay, and I'm going to highlight a little bit, a little bit, highlight a little bit on here. So this wood piece can mo look more stand out, okay? This wood can look more stand out and it can look a little bit more real too, okay? So let's do um, this one. Put a little bit highlight, sienna color a little bit right here. Wow, look at that. You can see the wood now, right? It's one, two, three separate. I'm going to just put a little bit right here too, okay? Um, here on the top, just a little bit. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, and have a reflection from the fire. It's easy, right? Just over the top a little bit with the this sienna color, right? Okay, next one, I'm going to use this sienna. Do a swirl, okay? Because when I do swirl, this piece 
look even look real, like real fire, right? Okay, let me do a swirl a little bit. Wow, look at that. Is that pretty? Okay, you see this one I'm not doing, I didn't do it. And compare with this one, which one is prettier? This one looks real, right? Yeah? Okay, so let's do this one. Swirl. Okay, swirl. It looks really nice now. Wow, perfect. Okay. And right now, if you have a black, you know, sometimes the wood piece is not really just brown. You know, sometimes they have a little bit black in them inside. You can take a piece of black and just make a swirl, make a swirl a little bit. So you will look even real, okay? And you can add some texture, okay? You know, sometimes the wood has uh, some texture. If you don't like, you can add it on too, okay? But if you don't like it, don't do it, it's fine, okay? Don't do it, it's fine, you know? This one, I just use, I just use the black for the texture, okay? All right, next one, it's gonna be, I'm going to do the background, okay? It almost, you know, it's really look nice, like the fire is burning on the wood, okay? It's really nice already, but you know, we can just put the fire on in middle of the nowhere. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a field, okay? Which is gonna be grass, okay? I'm going to use green okay and i make a curve to show you oh, okay this one it's my ground okay very nice color in with darker green so you can see this one is the green feel okay so when i do this Definitely you can say, oh, you are camping, right? You are camping outside the nature. Can you see the green? Not too much, right? On the screen, because this green, it's a little bit dark. In the background, a little bit dark. You can see that well, right? But a little bit, right? A little bit. Don't worry, I'm going to change color to make it a little bit lighter, okay? So, but I need the base tone. Remember, we have a base tone and then, you know, for the oil pastel, everything can make it more pretty, okay? So first I have my base tone ready. And then this one is green, right? I'm going to switch light green, okay? So let me pick the light green. Oh, here is my light green. Okay, and I can, can I tell you why I need the light green? Because when the fire is burning around the area, it looks lighter, right? Yeah, so you know, you see the fire right here around the fire, it looks a little bit lighter. So the grass will look lighter. So that's why I use light green over the top, make it a little bit lighter. And you know, you will say, okay, how light here I can be? Doesn't matter. You know, you want to light, you know, go a little bit further away or a little bit close to you. It's really up to you. You know, you are the artist, you can decide it, okay? So for example, I have a, wow, light goes around this grass, make this grass a little bit lighter, right? And then also I want my front right here looks a little bit lighter, okay? So it looked like, okay, the fire really, make everything look a little bit brighter, you know, when you when it's closer. You see, look much, much lighter. And this is really nice already. But you know, one thing, there's another way you can make it lighter. You know, if you put the darker screen over top with the light green, you want it lighter, what color you can do? Do you know? Yellow, okay, let's try yellow. Okay, I have uh, my light yellow right here, very light. Okay, let's add on top. Wow, look at that. Does it look much, much lighter? Yeah, 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 all right. 
OK, here, that's still a little bit yellow. Wow, it look, look, look really like, you know, the fire have a reflection on, on the grass field. And then, wow, I can just do, you know, a little bit smoke light reflection right here and right there. And then also you can do a little bit light reflection on the, your wood piece. Okay, it's not hard. You just, you know, think about where you want it lighter. Just add the color a little bit and that would be good. That would be wonderful, okay? And next one, I'm going to show you. You have a wood, you're burning the wood and then you have a fire, right? And of course, one thing is the smoke, right? It's smoky, smoky, the smoke will come out. So for the smoke part, I like to use what color? Do you know? white to make the smoke look like wow it's you know very smoky okay so i can do okay i can make a line i can make a line look like wow it's really smoky 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 right around around inside outside around the fire you can do the smoky smoky Okay, and but don't do too much because I want I don't want it too white. Okay, but you if you think oh wow it's too white and what happened you can always use your finger if you think it's too white smudge smudge blend it in and then you won't look too white. Is that cool? Okay, and are you ready for the marshmallow? Mm, every time when we do the campfire, you know, we need to, we have to, we have to have a marshmallow. Okay, so for the marshmallow, first you are going to use the uh, gray, gray color. You can see I pick a light gray color. This one is light gray. Okay, and marshmallow, easy. How many you want it? One or two? Two? Okay, all right. So. Then let's do a marshmallow right here. It can be square, it can be oval, depends on what kind, you know, what kind of shape you like it, okay? So we can do a marshmallow in gray color, but I will show you the magic. Right now it doesn't look like marshmallow yet, right? Okay, later we turn into a real, real, look real marshmallow, okay. I do one right here. I'm going to do another one right here. Okay, you can just color in with a rounded shape. Don't worry about how exactly, you know, it has to be square or circle or oval. Don't worry, just kind of round it right here. Okay, and next one, you can pick up the white color. And we are going to just make a small oval on the top. Okay, small oval on the top right here. Small oval on the top. Wow, it turned into a marshmallow already. Did you see it? And same thing here, small oval. Look at that, it become a marshmallow. And then some, some of the students and say, oh, it's not white enough. Don't worry, we can put a little bit white over the top, just a little bit. It turned into a little bit wider, right? A little bit right here, a little bit white on the top. Look at that. Wow, nice, 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 right? But you know, mushroom marrow cannot floating in the air. That would be really strange, right? We need the tree sticks. Okay, let's get the tree stick right here. Okay, first I'm going to do a brown color, okay? So you can do a tree stick through the marshmallow like that. Wow, really nice, right? But I think there's a problem. Do you know what kind of problem? The tree stick cannot really see it because the background is too dark. Don't worry about it. First, we have a true brown for the tree stick and next one we use the lighter tone, okay? Lighter tone over the top. So what I'm going to do again, Sienna, okay? For the lighter tone, 
And all we need to do is put it on the side of your darkest brown. Put it on the side of your darkest brown. Look, your tree stick turning a lighter, lighter tone already. And you can see your mm, tree stick and you know, you can see your tree stick now. Is that cool? Okay, let's do it on this side too. A little bit, a little bit. Over the top. Wow, you can see this one. Marshmallow and tree stick is there. Beautiful, beautiful, right? And then because it's a nighttime, I'm going to add the moonlight, okay? So you know the moonlight, some people like, some students like to use uh, yellow. Some student likes to do white, and I'm going to use a yellow and white together, okay? But first, I'm going to use yellow. All right, you can see this moon, I made the crescent. This one, the shape, we call cre crescent. All right, it's really nice. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. But I'm going to do a top with a little bit white. And so this moon can be brighter, okay? You can see after I put white, it looks brighter. Wow, look at that. And then we can put a little bit star. A little star, a little star, as many as you like. Put lots of little starts over the place. So you can see, oh, wow, that's a lots of starts on the sky. You know, I love camping because, you know, at night I can see all kinds of starts and all different kinds of stars all over the sky. And that's really, really nice. Really, really nice. Wow, look at that. You have a, your campfire, you have a, your marshmallow, and you're looking at the sky, and the sky have a, all the beautiful, beautiful star going with you. That's the, you know, really amazing things when you do camping, because, you know, camping makes, you, you are really close to the nature and you get to do the fun stuff too. Is that amazing? Okay. And the last thing I want to do, I want to make this fire a little bit more hot. Okay, what color you think it's hot? Red, right? Okay, let's do red, okay? Just a little bit more red and then make it look hotter, okay? So you can just, you know, the last one before, before, you, uh, before you end again, always double top check, see where you can put more red and then make the fire looks really, wow. Really like, you know, big, big, big and nice and hot. See, I put in so, so much red and make it even more redder. So this one can look really, really hot and then I can have a really nice, nice, good, yummy, yummy marshmallow. And then I can do like that. Okay, smoke, a little bit more smoky. Smoky, smoky, a little bit smoky. Mmm, smells so good. Mmm, smells so good, right? Wow, look at that. Okay, so this is the oil pastel painting for today's lesson, campfire and with the marshmallow, okay, and moon in the sky. I, I hope you enjoy the lesson for today. And uh, you know, if you do a camping with daddy and mommy, you have to remind them after you're done for the campfire, make sure the fire is gone, it's over, okay? And we don't want to cause the uh, forest uh, you know, on fire, right? Okay, so I hope you enjoy the lesson. Thank you for watching. Okay, see you next class. Bye-bye.
Bye, 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 bye. See you next time.